Hello, hi, this is a reading for you, the viewer. Let's see what's going on with you. It's an I Spy Collective. Very clever, right? <laughs> I'm Spy, by the way. Thanks for joining. Very happy to have you. Okay, what's going on with the viewer, please? Who am I speaking to? What's the what's going on here? Let's see. Whoa. Initiation. Wow. Okay, you have a very spiritual message here. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, okay? So you have some type of a spiritual responsibility right now. It's being passed on to you. It's being passed down to you. You could come from a long line of witches, warlocks, priests, priestesses, all right, psychics, whatever it is here. You got that healing vibe. The thing is your ancestors are popping up. All right, there's some type of protection afforded by your ancestors here, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your loved ones, whoever, whoever you got over there on your team, okay, your spirit team is protecting you. There's some type of a new process you're about to hop into, hop, skip, and a jump right into, okay? That's why we have this initiation vibe going on. You're being initiated. Being initiated is not always the easiest process. It actually needs a lot of dedication, a lot of, yeah, responsibility, okay? So you're, it's like you're being passed down some gifts. Spirit is ready to give you a gift, okay? Gifts are being given to you, so you could be enhancing your your gifts, your spiritual gifts even, and it's coming into the physical reality, into the real world. So maybe you're a seer, okay? Maybe you're a medium. Maybe you're a reader. There's something going on here, all right? Now let's see. What is the viewer getting initiated into? Passion. It's initiation by fire. Great, okay? That is a the biggest purging process here. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go through you're gonna go through a purge. Wow, so you have foundation on the bottom of the deck. Homeland, this is interesting. So I feel like you're about to go into a purge situation. Just know that you are protected. Keep your spiritual um, routines in check here. If you do like cleanses, if you do like prayer, meditation, whatever you do, keep that in check because this is what's going to assist you further as well as your spirit team, okay? Um, you're going to feel very strongly in the coming period that you are where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be when you need to be there, okay? So maybe you are visiting a place that you used to live for some, visiting your actual hometown, or you could be um, past life energy even. This is like, maybe your ancestors were there, okay? This is like spiritual stuff coming in. Tell us about this passionate initiation that the viewer is experiencing. Strength card, wow. So there's Leo energy, Gemini energy. And the high priestess, I am not surprised. Yeah, the seven of swords is on the bottom of the deck here. High priestess. Okay. Um, There could be someone around here in your energy that is needing to be watched okay i'm gonna say it like that like you need to keep your eye on somebody but not like give in to temptation when it comes to someone because you're you have spiritual protection here for a reason there's someone in your energy that could be throwing you off a little bit okay they may be trying to seduce you or get you into some like low vibe kind of experiences, okay? The thing is, you know better or you know this. That's why you're coming out with a high priestess. I'm talking to a, a spiritual person. I am talking to a reader, a psychic, whoever you are, I'm talking to you, okay? So you're aware of this, but this is about exercising your, your, um, your power over any sort of like low vibrational energies. So what is this? Mm -hmm. Also keep in mind grounding. Okay, now my nose is itching. So 10 of cups.
where your attention goes, energy flows. We have the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Yeah. Um, keep in mind where you are putting your energy. There could be people around you that just want some sort of a handout. And I would say financially here, okay? You could be aware of that. Maybe you're okay with that in small doses, but it does look like people are like eyeing your coin or your capabilities to like give to them, which is fine. Like, of course you can give to people, but if there's something about you keeping an eye on that here, maybe that's the person it has to be. This is the person that is, um, it feels one-sided. So there's a little bit of lack of reciprocity here. So I feel like you're aware of this. You know what we're talking about, okay? So I'm saying to spend time and energy wisely and your coin. Nine of Pentacles. You're about to receive like a jump in your independence level. Wow, tower vibe. Okay, it's like you're choosing to hold back from a certain person in your energy and it's actually going to bless you in the long run. Um, unfortunately, to say that, you know, that's, that's kind of sad, but it does look like you are choosing yourself at the end of the day with the nine of pentacles. You have a lot of pentacle energy here. So it does look like whatever you're creating, whatever you're putting your mind to, like you're setting your mind to it, you're actually creating. It is going to end something else and it's going to end in a hurry or... Um, this is what you're trying to protect yourself from. The ancestors are. What is this energy that's ending? Okay. You're needing to not go back to something or someone again. And you already know that because this person's going to pop up here. And if it ended poorly the last time, it would again. That's what this is. This could be Gemini energy. I didn't mean to say Gemini, but there is Gemini energy on the... I was going to say Virgo. So... Um, we also have Lib Libra and Pisces. Someone like makes you question your peace of mind. Like there's someone around you here that's not um, reciprocating. Okay. That's just what this is. How was the viewer associated with this person in the past? How was the viewer, the moon... So this is someone that you felt at home with or you feel at home with someone very close to you. You were close to this person once upon a time. Maybe there was a relationship, marriage, okay? Some sort of a court proceeding or you shared some sort of a contract with this person. Is it even be a spiritual contract? Yes, it can. But I am seeing that the way that you related to this person is feeling wise. Okay, like you you felt for this person quite a bit. I see that this is mutual. Maybe there are certain things that you were questioning about them here. Like this would be like questioning your attraction to them, why you are or not. There's a lot of questions here that I feel like you thought about with this person. What is this? The Ten of Cups, the Justice. Yeah, you were talking about marriage with this person. The Eight of Swords is here. You were talking about marriage with this person. You were talking about joining forces with this person, if this is romantic. Or you were about to share a contract with this person in, in any other way. Okay, this is contractual. I'm seeing that here. Like, this is a person that, yeah... The thing is, you couldn't see it panning out or like after some time, you were like, you know, I'm not sure this is right for me. Like you were feeding yourself some sort of illusion here. All right. So the universe doesn't want you involved or your spirit guides, your ancestors, because you're on the path of some sort of abundance. That's what this is. Your ancestors don't want you to be given that away. And it looks like you're you're pretty generous. Okay, there's something that's meant for you that your bloodline is trying to give you. Not that you can't share. I'm not trying to tell you that. I'm just giving you the message, okay? Please don't get it confused. So what else is going on with the viewer? What else is going on with the viewer? Heartache over what you no longer have. Dragon, beware of self delusion. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Okay. You, okay, you know what? Temporary situation. Yeah. 
I feel like you're bent out of shape over an illusion. Whoever I'm speaking to, because you could have been dealing with somebody who was trying to cajole or pretend they were something that they're not. There's some sort of illusion here. Maybe you fed yourself this illusion. Like you're like, oh, it's so lovely and great. Okay. And then when you really get down to business, you realize this isn't it. But that's what this is. So you have a temporary situation. I feel like you're, you could be heartbroken, lovesick. You could be like down on your luck emotionally, like feeling like how come nothing's working out for me kind of thing. What's on the bottom? Obstacles. Yeah. Um, someone could be year of the dragon for some of you. I feel like you're upset over something that you're not meant to be upset about, all right? Because it was it was an illusion. Something was an illusion here. Tell me what the viewer no longer has here that they're upset about. This could be a friend or a lover is what it says, but let me see what this is. Like this person was fake to you, okay? This is like a fake friend or they became a fake friend or like, um, a lover was deceptive. Whatever this is, heartache over what you no longer have. The Ten of Swords. So this is like a painful, I gotta go, all right? I feel like you reluctantly let go of something because you know that it's not meant for you. You really, yeah. It's like, here's the thing. If you kept doing it here, you, you know this, all right? If you kept doing it, it would continuously end in a disappointment and failure. Like someone was lying to you. Like literally someone could have betrayed you here. What happened with that energy right there? Like you could be in love with like a con person, like a con man, a con woman, you know? It feels like that. Yeah, the four of swords. So you've been wondering if this person's going to talk to you here. If you're separated from someone that's not talking to you or you're not talking to, um, it's not what you think it is. And the thing is, you, you know that, but you could be questioning yourself. This person is not what you think it is. Like this relationship is not what you think it is or what it's supposed to be. Whatever you're, you're hurt over right now, like you're sad, right? Um, you've been waiting for this to work out in a different way, or you've been thinking about it. You're like, maybe I can go back and fix it. Or maybe this person will reach out and we can fix it. No, that's not what it is. Like you're deluding yourself with the dragon energy. Maybe you're just trying to see the good in people. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what this disappointment in a friend or a lover is. The nine of wands. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go digging up dirt on this person, I guarantee you, you're going to find something you do not like. I guarantee you, because that's what this is talking about. Again, this could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Sagittarius. All right. And you're not talking to this person. There's some ghosting here. If you've already stopped talking to this person or they stopped talking to you, it's time to purge this energy. This isn't it. All right. At least not right now, it's not. So let me see the self-delusion, please. This can be someone even feeling this way about you. Like you told them no, but they're continuously still reaching out or they're fiending for you or their energy's like attached to you here. Okay. What is the self-delusion that the viewer needs to know about? That's what I'm telling you. So that's what I'm saying. So the three of cups is here on the bottom. This is like bad information. Like someone was not being honest or truthful here. Or like I said, the seven of cups can be an illusion. Like you have an illusion going on, okay? The more you think about it, the more confused you're gonna get. There's really no answer with this person or this situation. I see that someone could be hoping that this is gonna work out again or it's gonna come back. This is, a, this is an illusion right now. Just like waking up from it, okay? So you're going to be experiencing a wake up with this situation or this person is, oh, this is good. So you finally come out with, I got to cover this um, energy here, this energy, <laughs> this energy on the chesticles. Yeah, um, you really have to, 
you are going to be okay there's a there's a beneficial change and movement happening here where you're going to let go of this energy all right maybe slowly it's slowly but surely so we have lovers and the six of swords Hmm. why is this energy not beneficial please why are you telling us this why are you telling us that this energy is not beneficial because you need to focus um there's something about you focusing here wow ace of cups the thing is listen all right you have a different person or a different um someone is more aligned with you than what this is it's like you shouldn't have to force someone or you shouldn't have to fiend for someone you shouldn't have to force yourself and you know that Whoever's doing this, that's what this is about. It's like you shouldn't have to force a relationship or a connection or communication. It should be natural. It should be flowing. That's what this is talking about. And there's someone else that's meant to be here as opposed to this other energy. It's not supposed to be there. At least not right now. That's what I'm telling you. All right. Um, some of you guys, you could benefit from a little bit of abstinence or celibacy as like a spiritual sacrifice. I'm serious. You're like, I know. <laughs> yeah, some sort of abstinence or celibacy. It could be like an offering in that way, like offering to spirit, offering to your ancestors. Um, your spiritual energy will be higher because of that. You know how sometimes if you, I know this is the thing, if you are sensitive, which I feel like you are because we read your energy, you must be psychic. You must be, you know, whoever you are. We talked about that. Then you know that when you intertwine with someone, when you when you enmesh with someone's energy, that takes a long time to cleanse and clear out of your system. Sometimes it does. It depends on if this person has attachments. And the thing is, you can be prone to whatever they're prone to at that point. When you connect with that person, that link happens and it's real. So I feel like there's something you're purging from someone you were connected to cords and and energetic debris and the aura and stuff like that yeah it's real attachments what else does the viewer need to know eight of wands six of wands oh wow i just got like a a little bit like a dizzy spell. That's interesting. I don't get that. Okay. I wonder what the meaning is. Okay. You have a ton of fire here. We have Leo thrice and we have Sagittarius energy. Okay. Here's what's going on. Oh gosh, this says rabies. That's very interesting. Um, rabies. Maybe somebody has rabies here. All right. So we're careful about that. You know. Okay. Um, I don't feel like that's very common, but anyway. So what I'm seeing is that you're going to be shining very, very brightly in the coming period. Extremely brightly. Okay. There's something about your energy that it's like restorative. You're rejuvenated, but you're getting a lot of attention. The thing is, there's something about this attention that's going to cause conflict. Um, this is reminding me right now of the I Spy we just did. The collective about someone who doesn't like your success. That's what this is starting to feel like. Okay, so we're going to see how this goes. But you do have this five of wands energy here. Okay, so there's something about your ambitions that you've had that you've been very dedicated to. It's going to bring a great change. You're getting a lot of exposure. Six of Wands and the Sun, like you're going to be celebrated. You're seen. You're being seen and acknowledged and congratulated. Okay, you could be winning some type of award in a very highly competitive field or um, competition, and you're winning something. You're winning it. 
and you're going to be getting a lot of people hitting you up, talking to you, you know, trying to get to know you with that eight of wands energy. People are like all over you energetically. Even if you're not out there publicly, you're getting a lot of attention and someone doesn't like it with that five of wands here. Okay. You're moving right into some type of jealousy, something that someone else is feeling. That's not your problem. Right? Because you're shining so bright that it's casting shadows. You're shining bright and people are in the shadow. Tell me what this Five of Wands energy is. Knight of Wands. More Sagittarius energy. We have Moon energy. So, water signs. Okay, Four of Swords. Okay. So this is interesting because Gabriel here, I know it's Gabriel, but Gabriel, I believe, is um, closer to the pronunciation. Anyway, I could be wrong. But this says Gabriel here, divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy. There is somebody that could be trying to expose you. Secret crimes. Wow, this one says secret crimes. That's what I'm telling you. If you have anything going on, there's someone around you trying to expose you here. This is a weird energy again. This is the same thing. So in the last reading, there was somebody who was um, like kind of obsessive or getting feelings for you or likes you or wants to be you in some sense. Like literally someone wants to be you because you're winning or you're doing well. And because they're not getting your attention directly or because they feel small, they're acting out. And that's what this is. Again, there's someone here acting out and trying to get the unknown known. So this could be someone trying to get your secrets out, okay? Or like spread rumors or something like that. The thing is here with the Knight of Wands, Hahuya. It says protection prevents discovery of secret crimes and saves exiles. So you're protected. The thing is, it's like, if you even look at this depiction, it's like someone on this wheel energy and then this guy like creeping up, you know, like right behind, like right behind. Yeah, that's what this feels. Ace of Cups is here though. It says rejuvenation. Didn't I tell you you were going to be rejuvenated? Here it is. <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I feel like you know, I guess just be aware that this is going on. Nothing's going to come of it. At least nothing crazy. You're good. Like, I feel like you're being seen. Okay. Like you're. Yeah. Seven of swords. The world. That's protection here. And the seven of cups. Contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. I feel like you have the um, upper hand here because the information that you actually have on this person. Okay, there's death card right behind. You have influence. Wow. So you could influence it and six of cups. Yeah, this is all. So six of cups, death card, seven of cups. This is all Scorpio right here. Right underneath. Okay. So sun twice and the Venus here, you have the upper hand. It's just don't push it to that point. Like this person needs to not push it to that point, you know? So I feel like you could be saying that or you're acting in that manner. This person really doesn't want to mess with you. They don't. It says knowledge of good and evil. And the world card, Fountain of Wisdom, gives success in all ventures. I'm telling you. And fortune and fame. Didn't we just say this? All right. That's what this is. It says fortune and fame and success. That's what you're moving into. There's just people trying to sabotage it. What I mean, you know you're on the right path when people start trying to smear you. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what this feels like. Sorry. Okay. That's how you know. As soon as you start getting people jealous, envious, as soon as you start getting people, you know, trying to make you look bad, okay, negate your, your goodness or like your goodwill or even negate your success, then you know you're on the right path, okay? That's what this is. So what else is going on with the viewer? What else is going on with the viewer? Bag. 
you're getting a bag. Look at this. Something important such as a new job or a new career. Mm. Tell me about this bag for the viewer. Shield. You need to defend yourself. Hello. We've been talking about that. I'm telling you. Okay. What else? And family wishes come true. Okay. December. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn energy person. This could also have to do with the month of December, clearly. But the thing is here, you need to defend your new job, your raise, your success. There's something about you protecting it. So you need to protect your, your, yeah, your, I'm hearing your goodwill. I don't know. So you need to, oh, maybe you, Oh, there's someone coming to try to ask you for some, for some assistance in some sort. That's what that is. Just keep it in mind. So yeah, it could be a family member for some, but it does look like you're needing to protect your new opportunity because people are trying to foil it. Okay. So you need to defend yourself. If someone's like spreading rumors or whatever, maybe go straight to the source. Like if someone's talking about you, go to your manager. Go to the boss, go to whoever. Cause I feel like the thing is we just saw right before this, you have the information, like the true information. Someone could be like messing something up for you, trying to, okay? It's like rumors or some shit. Oops, I said about, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> family wishes come true here, all right? You got family wishes that are coming true for you. Tell me about the family. Oh, we have stork. Okay, someone's, someone's gonna be pregnant <laughs> or is, and you're gonna find out. Yep. Someone's going to be pregnant or you're going to find out it's in the family. So maybe that's you. Some of you, that's you. But there's pregnancy here. But I'm also seeing because it says new business opportunity. It's like new job, a raise. Um, you're put onto like a good project. You're getting like famous in some scale, whether that's you and your little group or you in the world. Okay. Like you have visibility. And then on top of that, your family's happy or there's some progression in your family life where it's going to be happy, something to celebrate. You have good things. Very good. So tell us why we have defend yourself here. Nine of wands and the alchemist and the four of wands. Yeah, because there's some sort of a threat to your, to your, what you've built. Okay. We already said this though. So you do have the wheel on the bottom. It's like, you're getting a lucky break. Some of you guys, you could be getting like um, this bonus. Okay. So whether this is through an inheritance and then like your family's upset about it or, um, people at work are just mad that you're doing well or being acknowledged. That's what this is. This is about you protecting what's yours and what you've built. So the magician is the person who's built this, right? Like you have the ability to build that four wands here. You need to protect that. So I see you protecting your home, protecting your people, you know, your family. Maybe you need to change locks as well in a physical sense. Okay. But yeah, this is about you just, um, I'm hearing something about a, a guard dog. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, the seven of wands. You do need to defend yourself here. Look at this. You have like a, who is this? There could be a, a psychic person. Or maybe you work as a practitioner yourself and this person's competing with you. Um... This could be a Capricorn or another earth sign or a water sign. There's someone here that you need to protect yourself from. Yeah, because you get the seven of wands here. Look at that. It's very intense. Like, no. So yeah, up your, your spiritual protection as well, I feel. So, you know, multiple ways you can protect yourself, right? Spiritual is one of them. It's actually, to me, one of the stronger forms, but you know, it's on you. You do have this person here that you're protecting yourself from. Tell me about this person. It is through work. This person sees you through work. Who is this person? World card on the bottom too. This person sees you through what you do for work, however that's possible. They know you through work, OK? 
okay? So we do have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, as well as the Knight of Wands. This is someone trying to block your success that you're about to hit. What's new? We talked about this yesterday, but it felt like a different energy. Like the sign felt different, but this is the same type of vibe, all right? So here's the thing. You know about this. You already know about this. You already feel it. Like you sense it. If there's someone around you that acts a little bit like nice, nasty or nasty, nice, or like they're passive aggressive or, you know, they're quick to like have attitudes with you. It's something like this. This is the person. So I feel like you already were questioning, hey, this person's acting weird. They're acting strange or like you felt it. Okay. There's something that you felt intuitively here. There's something about you protecting that. Now, I'm also going to tell you here too. Don't be putting your stuff online, okay? Um, make sure that whatever you're posting, that you're not out here showing your background or like whatever you're looking at, okay? Don't 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 put stuff like that. Just be extra careful during this time, is what it is, because this is about you being protected. That's what we're talking about today, okay? Apparently, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> What else for the viewer? So I'm getting Gemini energy here. Okay, so we have March, September, and Beetle Good Fortune. Ooh, so this could be between these months here. There's good fortune coming your way. Marriage. Wow. So you're committing to something or someone. And this is looking like an Ace of Pentacles to me. Peace and harmony. Wow, okay. Uh, we have elephant energy here. I'm also getting something about Egypt. What is this? Unicorn. Yeah, use your intuition. Again, we're getting intuition here. Time to get out of a situation. What is this? It says time to get out of a situation and use your intuition. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. I feel like this is a spiritual energy. Use your intuition, okay? Maybe you're going on like a trip, <laughs> like a spiritual trip here. That's what this feels like. But yeah, you have, um, you have peace and harmony and good fortune. This looks really good. It's just that there's something that you need to leave alone or get out of with that pale energy, okay? I feel like you're about to be blessed here. What's all this good vibes coming in? You're settling some sort of a conflict or diff uh, diffusing a dispute. That's what this is. You're finally going to have peace here. If you've been playing some sort of peacemaker for other people, this is going to drain you and it's no point. That's one thing as well. Like you could be being the peacemaker here. Okay. This could be a Libra Sagittarius Leo. You guys have been given a lot of your energy to other people and other things without replenishing your own cup here. That's what this is. There's someone here that may not be your friend. It could be those signs we mentioned. It says time to get out of a situation. Hmm. What does the viewer need to get out of? The Three of Swords. Yeah. Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Literally, again. And now we have a Devil card. Great. See? Okay. So it could be Capricorn energy, Libra energy, and Leo energy. I feel like this person... doesn't agree with anything you do or say or they pretend a lot this is not a good energy
What is this? Death card. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ace of Cups. There's something about you. You need to pay attention to how you're feeling a lot lately. That's what this is talking about because it, it could be like you're giving people too many passes. Like people could be um, frustrating you or people could be not not listening or not respecting when you say enough is enough or stop saying that or stop doing that or I don't like these things. Like it looks like you're being directly opposed by people during this time and it's because of your incoming abundance. That's when it rattles up all this type of energy. People can sense that. They can feel it, okay? Even if it's not overt, like people can sense that and I see that it's rattling some people's cages here, okay? So here's the thing too. No more free passes for people that are like directly opposing you or like undermining you. For some reason, this keeps coming out, all right? So there's someone around you in particular that's not benefiting your inner peace. And it's your job to keep track of your inner peace. It's not anybody else's, right? Like it's your job to manage how you feel, okay? So there's something you need to do about that. That's what it is. Let's see what else you have going on. What else is going on? The Fool, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. You keep getting this Nine of Wands energy. Okay, the World card. Mm, I'm getting like holistic approach energy here. So some of you guys, you could be seeing like a naturopath or like a uh, some sort of healer of sorts of course please talk to a professional i'm just a reader but i have to say that all right because there's like some plant medicine or herbal medicine herbalism something going on here is what i'm seeing oh you have fountain of wisdom coming in okay you need to get out of some type of a cycle. Again, this is coming up. So you need to get out of a cycle so that you can move into your true success. There's something trying to get you back into like a repetitive theme in your life. And it's time for you to not do that. We're talking about elevation of the soul here. Okay, that's what this is. It's time to elevate. And we have the world card as well. You have victory here. You just got to let go of um, some sort of a blockage. And it's something that you've been allowing to happen. Okay. Yeah, you have the full card here. It says, will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. Yeah, again, don't be sharing stuff online. This says God of the impenetrable secret. Yeah, don't don't be um, putting stuff online here. You have some sort of a delay because you need to directly make a change. There's a delay in your success because you need to directly make a change. Eight of cups, the seven of wands. And the sun. Mm-hmm. And the chariot, perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversity, literally what we've been talking about. Okay. The chariot, it's Michael or Michael or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Michael, I don't know. Once you let go of this blockage back here, this person, these energies, okay? It's like liberation. You're being delivered, okay? This is like you're free. You have to set yourself free. You're allowing some certain things in your energy that needs to be let go. And this is what this is referring to. Deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. You might need some sort of a cleanse as well, or maybe you're into cleanses, okay? So if you are um, doing a cleanse, it could alleviate some of this energy. It'd be easier to, for you to see clearly and think clearly as well. Restoration of life, protection from adversity, <laughs> adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Again, the sun card. I'm telling you that 
you're about to hit some massive success and not everybody's gonna love it. Not everybody's gonna like it. And once that happens, not everybody's gonna be happy with it as well because they're gonna feel small. So I feel like you have a certain person right now opposing you, number one. And I feel like later on, more people are gonna come out of the woodworks when your success is more obvious, okay? Unfortunately. Three of Cups, fame and renown. Yeah, Two of Cups, King of Wands. The sun again. Eloquence gives answers to those in doubt. I feel like you're an influencer. You're about to influence people's lives here. You have the possibility to do so. Like you're capable to influence people's lives and have them healed, get them some good information, point them in the right direction. There's something about what you can offer and share that will benefit a lot of people. Okay. It's like you are an influencer. You know how to speak well, you carry yourself well, and you're going to be respected because of that. But you also can use this kind of gift or this power, the knowledge that you've acquired to share with people so that they themselves can learn or they themselves can experience okay there's something about you doing that here yeah see provides expansive intelligence gives the grace of god that's what's going on with you okay i'm gonna leave that there thanks for watching and joining and enjoying i'll see you next time